Would you support ex-cons being given the right to vote? Yes. Frankly, I can't think of any good reason why they should be excluded. They served their time, why not? Sure, denying them the right to vote sort of gives away that the justice system isn't actually supposed to be rehabilitative. Your punishment is time. It should not disenfranchise you once it is served. Yes. I also think people who are still in prison should have the right to vote. If legislation is too tough on crime, they're the ones that suffer the most. Yes, I believe in all cases an ex-con should be allowed to vote. Quite frankly, I believe once you are out of physical prison, you should be allowed to represent yourself by voting, but I can at least settle they be allowed once they complete probation parole. Our prison system is messed up and we should really listen to some of what the people are saying about it, and incorporate that into real prison reforms. But no one is going to represent a population that can't vote for them. And that just makes the problems harder and harder to fix over time. Yes. There is no reason they shouldn't be allowed to vote. Committing a crime shouldn't affect voting rights. Further, so long as you are required to pay taxes of any kind, you have the right to vote. I don't think they should ever lose the right to vote to begin with. Representatives still need to represent the people. And if the prison population becomes so large that they control the outcome of the election, that's its own major problem and the government would have already failed. What part of no taxation without representation was unclear? Yes. Yes. Minimum I'd say is the moment they are released the right to vote comes back. However, given how they are used to boost the populations of otherwise rural counties in the census, I think the right to vote shouldn't be taken away at all. Vote while in prison. Doing so will also probably contribute however small to their investment in things outside. This is something I never understood. Let them vote from in jail, too. They are still citizens. Shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. Believe it or not, ex-cons do have the right to vote in most places in the US. I know this because I am an ex-con, and I am allowed to vote. There's only a couple of states where you can't vote if you've been convicted. The majority of them allow you to vote once your sentence has been completed. The only time you can't is when you're actively incarcerated. An ex-con is someone who is supposed to have paid their debt to society. It's not supposed to be a life sentence. Absolutely. If it's too dangerous to even let them vote why did you let THWM out? IMO, you should keep the right to vote even in prison. Otherwise politicians can just pass laws that disproportionately target certain populations to take them out of the voting pool. Disenfranchisement as punishment for crime has always been wrong. If the government can decide what constitutes a crime, then it can decide who is a criminal. The government can decide at will who gets to vote. Just look at FL for an example of how fascists exploit this. And America thinks it's a democracy rolling on the floor laughing. They're still citizens. The incarcerated should also have the right to vote. I would even go so far as to say current cons should have the right to vote. If you're a citizen you vote, simple as that. As long as they serve their time, no reason they can't vote. Are you not going to tax these people either? The whole no taxation without representation thing and all. I also don't really have a problem with convicts currently serving time voting either. I suppose there should be some limitations, like no one on death row voting but they certainly should be allowed to vote if they would be out before the term limit of the office they are voting for ends. God, in Australia people still in jail vote, and it's compulsory. You don't stop being a citizen because you're in jail. Are they citizens of this country? Then they have the right to vote. Not entirely sure what precisely being in prison does to one's citizenship. But if you've already served your time and rejoined society, then in my book you're eligible to vote along with everyone else. Yes. The better question is why would you be against it? You are not free if someone is still depriving you of your rights. Freedom is freedom. 
there are no exceptions. 100. Prison is supposed to be rehabilitation, not solely punitive. If a prisoner serves their time why shouldn't their rights be reinstated? Yes, once their debt to society has been repaid. If you can lose the right to something for any reason it is not a right. They should maintain that right while in prison, especially since they count toward the population of where they are serving their time for the number of representatives. If criminals can't vote, those who want to disenfranchise certain groups have a great incentive to criminalize those groups. I believe all felons should have their rights to vote and especially if they are a non viloint felon should have their rights for firearms reinstated. Yes, ex-cons should be able to vote. It seems dumb that ex-cons can't vote in many states until you remember that the US is racist as hell. A large number of incarcerated people in this country are minorities. Preventing them from voting, getting a job when they get out, and properly rejoining society all that is purposefully designed. Yes. I would also support cons having the right to vote. You don't stop being a citizen because you are convicted of a crime nor does removing their vote serve any rehabilitative function. The only issue to me is where to count their vote. Wait you idiots don't let people vote after they've served their time. After they have served their time? Isn't that like a quarter of your entire population? Honestly America, get your shit together. Land of the free rolling on the floor laughing. No, I think if you don't pay taxes you shouldn't have representation. Wait they pay taxes once they get out? Wasn't this country founded on no taxation without representation? Do they still have to pay taxes? If yes, then yes. Including currently incarcerated. Yes. X200B. And for the most part, I'd get rid of the entire black mark of Cain that comes from being a felon. They made a mistake, they did their time. At some point, you gotta stop punishing people. If they are deemed rehabilitated enough to re-enter society then I can see no justifiable reason for them not having that right. If cons can run for president, then I think it's okay to let cons vote. Yes. Yes, 100, without question. I'd go even further. Incarcerated people should be able to vote. Suffrage should not be abridged. Shit yeah, they should. Yes. They served their sentence, they should be able to vote. I think it's absurd that people who have served their time are not allowed to vote. In Australia, they already can. In fact, some can vote while they're still in prison if they're serving less than three years. Definitely. They've served their time and they are affected by the same shit non-felons are affected by so I think it's only fair their vote is counted. I've never seen a good reason as to why it shouldn't be counted. It's always seemed to me like another way to slice votes in one party's favor. Yes, they don't stop being citizens if they made a mistake. No taxation without representation, I don't understand why they're excluded to begin with. I support current cons being given the right to vote. Absolutely yes. I'd go one further and say that people convicted of non-violent crimes should be allowed to own firearms. Yes they are citizens just like everyone else. Absolutely. They've done their time. Yes. Unless their crimes were voting election related. Yes. They know how FKN dumb this world is. Their vote counts. If they are paying taxes, but don't have a say in their representation, then that needs to be fixed. I support collecting and using their taxes, so yeah. If you are a free citizen of the United States of America allowed to walk around freely amongst the general population, then you should have the right to carry a weapon, you should have the right to vote, you should have the right to everything that every other free citizen of the United States of America has. Period. No questions. Did they stop being citizens? Unless someone is involved in voting fraud, I don't think you should lose the right to vote.